All right, so so far we've added in two inputs. One is uh, is unnamed and one is of type email. Um, these quotes are, are something you can use or not, it's your option. Um, let's go ahead and add in some uh, some other types. First, I should note that, that type email is a new type for HTML5. If we uh, type in um, Alex and Bob and hit submit, you'll see it, it stops us and says, please enter an email address. Uh, the reason for that is that um, it's using this new email type, which does some basic checking. We're going to add in um, two more very common uh, types of inputs that are uh, not HTML5, but are part of HTML4 and previous HTMLs. The first is um, the radio button. And the radio button uh, is a button where you can choose one or more of the same thing. So we'll just set, look for a favorite color. Um, we'll call it fave. And we'll say the value is um, blue. And then we're going to put in right here blue and close that paragraph. So we should have a quick label here that says uh, fave color. That'll take care of that. And then we're going to do another line after the blue that says, let's just say red. Two are fine to start with. Uh, red and red. So um, a quick, quick thing to note here is that they have the same name. That is, the, the value you're going to send when you post this thing is going to be either, the fave is going to be either red or blue. So we need to have the name here because it tells us what to package this in. But more importantly, or equally as important, it tells us that these are all part of the same radio button group. So if I click on blue, it's going to take away red. If I click on red, it's going to take away blue. Let's see how that looks. We'll refresh, and you'll see if I click on red, and then if I click on blue, I can choose one or the other, but I can't choose both. Now you'll notice when I first load, there's nothing lit up at all. Well, if I want one of these to start out lit, I can say checked. And then when I load the page, it's going to start with blue checked, and I can choose another one if I want. You, generally, you do want to have one of those options checked, otherwise some might, someone might submit without having a required element. I'll note that in HTML5, you can also put in something like required, and that makes the person fill out some of those elements. All right, let's do the second one, which is um, we'll ask for a state. And um, this is called a select, and it starts with a tag that says select, and it consists of a couple of or more uh, options. So we're going to have just two options. Um, Oops, option. And I uh, will close the select. Uh, let's make the first, so we these also um, still need to have, uh, first of all, the select needs to have a name. Name is uh, state. So again, what, what the person selects is going to go into that variable. And then for the options, they still need to have values. So value is confusion. Um, quote and then the, the uh, second option is value is let's just say chaos so the person will get a drop down being able to choose those two mind you that these are the values we actually have to say the things here confusion and chaos if we save that and we refresh this we get that drop down so radio buttons and selects are very common pieces of um, forms. So our text areas, which is the, the part we didn't carry, cover, those are big text boxes where you can enter in a bunch of text if you want to.